Welcome to how to add Gogo Loco scalable edition, okay? So I've had a lot of requests from the first Gogo Loco video to add actual like the scalable version of it to the avatar because no one knows how to do that. And uh, I've imported the Gogo Loco version, the same one I used in the other version, I mean the other video. And uh, it's basically the same thing. Now there's some things we're going to have to keep in mind here though that is different. Number one is that right now I'm using Creator Companion. Now this is the new thing that uh, VRChat has implemented. And if you want to make a video on how to use this, I will. But uh, I'm going to assume that you know how to use this because it's basically just like an, a collector for all of this stuff, essentially. So like I've created a project here called Scalable Puppy Girl. This is my new avatar, by the way, and it's free on Gumroad, completely free. If you want the NSVW version, you have to pay for it. But the, the Safer Work version is completely free, so you can just go and join that if you want. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. But anyways, here we are in the project, Scalable Puppy Girl. Now, two things that we will need. Now, one of them is not like, that it's optional because you don't actually need it, but I like put it in there. Gesture Manager, so you can test it out in uh, Unity. And the other one is Avatar 3.0 Manager. This is going to make this so much easier, okay? Now, the way you add them is just in here, in the actual project from the Creator Companion, you click Add. That's all you have to do. You have to scroll down to where you see them and then click add and they will get, get added to the project. Now, something to keep in mind is that when you add stuff in the new way with the Creator Companion, if you're in the asset folder like here, then uh, they're not going to be here. You can't see them like you used to be able before when you just pull them in. They're going to be in packages right here. So if you want to add gesture manager to the, the scene here, all you have to do is click packages and then click gesture manager somewhere here. I, I can't fucking find it, but, but it is here. There it is. And then you just pull the prefab in there. That's all you have to do. Now, back to the story. So we go into Google Local, like we usually do. Open here. And this one is a uh, right default. Keep that in mind. Go to your avatar. Go to the animator. Click parameters. No, sorry, not parameters. Just go all the way up to right hand, left hand. You select any of them. And then if it has a right default on it, then that's the one you got to pick. So we have W here, right default. The right default controller. Now on here, Puppy Girl, we scroll down on the right side here. And on playable layers, like after clicking the name up here, sorry, I'm going by a little bit fast. Uh, you click on sitting, you click on actions, and this will click on additive as well. I don't think we do that on a normal one. And base. Now this means we can pull stuff in here. You can do it by clicking the little plus sign here and find them as well. But as you see, it's go into folder, the Google Loco folder here. After pulling you go uh, Loco, and you see Google Loco actions here, pull that into the action layer. Uh, the additive one, pull that one into additive layer. And then we have a base, we pull that one into the base layer. And then we have sitting as well. We pull that one into the sitting. Oh, we have to click it again, it's fine. Pull that in there, there you go. And we don't need to use the gesture one. That's just uh, essentially the gestures. You don't need that one at all. Now, something to keep in mind as well, after you've added the action layer and everything, or well, sorry, all of the layers here, the right default layers, is that some avatars, it will say FX twice here. It will. I don't know why. I think it's a program that the creators use that just changes the name here because the names here are essentially use like the code and they probably change the code for some reason. I don't know why. But if it says FX twice and you have two FX layers that are identical here, just remove the one that isn't at the bottom. Just click X here like that. And then you click here and then you just pull in the action layer. That's all you have to do. Now, after we've pulled these in, this is where people get confused, I think because we have beyond WD here. Now this is the stuff we actually want. So you see here when I click on it and I'm in the animator up here, I can see that it says Gogo Loco FX broke WD. Now we have the T-Post one here and we have the beyond. <clears throat> now the thing is the beyond one has flying here, right? And then the broke one has flying and scale and third person. So this is the things that are going to be supported. This is why we need as well uh, AV3 creator because we're going to merge these layers. So we're going to take this one and then do control D. That will duplicate it. <clears throat> and we have the Gogo Loco FX broke WD1 here. We're going to pull this one into the animator here on the side. The animations here, so it's same folder as FX controller. Because <clears throat> this is going to make it easier. Then we're going to click up here on VR Labs, click on Avatars 3.0 Manager, 
Now we're going to pull in the actual avatar in here. So the avatar on the left here, name, we pull this one in here. Now we have FX controller. Now we have the Poppy Girl FX controller here. That's the one we want to use. Now we want to add animator to merge. And once we've done that, you can technically click here. So you don't need to like copy paste it here. And then just find the one called Go Loco FX Broke. If you want to scroll here, you can find it probably. Yeah, there it is. Go Loco FX Broke. Or you can just pull it to this little box here. We're just going to click it here since we have it up. There you go. And it's going to tell you some stuff here. Parameter is a default one, blah, blah. Don't care about these. Because we're going to add these into the actual parameter section here later. So let's merge on current. Now what this did is it added all of the things that is in this FX controller into this one. So if you scroll down here, we have scaling now. We have uh, where we're flying, flying here, scaling here, and third person, and base as well. Now all of these are here. That's good. And we also have the parameters here now, down here. Go, go, horizon, blah, 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 all that stuff. Now, the next step is how you usually add Go, go, loco. You go in here. You go into uh, the go menus, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, here we have it. And then we want to, instead of doing the go all menu now, we want to do the go beyond main menu. That's the one we want to add at the end, okay? But right now, we're going to click on the parameters one. Or we can actually, there's always a picture here. So you can just open a picture, double click. Oh, no, that's not the picture, sorry. I'm getting confused with another one. We are going to click on parameters, and these are all of the parameters that you want to add, right? It's going to be uh, the exact same ones. Like, it's fine. There's nothing special about them. Actually, wait. No, this one, sorry. <laughs> my apologies, my apologies. It's this one. Go broke parameters. That's the one we want to add. I thought it looked a little bit skinny there. There's not enough stuff there. So we want to add these. Now make sure before you add them that they have enough total memory on your avatar. This one needs 37 total memory to be able to be used. And you can see the total memory by clicking on your avatar, going down here to uh, parameters, click on that. And then if you scroll down, you see this one has 193 out of 256. I had to delete some stuff to fit it in here. Now, all we want to do is we want to go back to the Google Loco folder. Now, the easiest way that you can do this is just taking a screenshot, honestly. Like, bring this up, bring up the snipping tool, click new, and then take a little screenshot of it. There you go. And now we have that here. Now we want to go to the actual avatar, the parameters, and we want to uh, click add up here. Now, let's just see. Let's make it this easy, okay? Let's see how many there are this... Uh, Okay, the VRC emotes one, you don't need to add that one. That's pretty much always added up here at the top by default. So you don't need to add that one. Unless it's not there, then you might need to add that. We're going to add all of these to the avatar. All of these, except for that one. And we're going to make sure that these sections are identical to this screenshot as well. Some people don't do this part properly and then they they're like oh my avatar isn't working it's go go loco is technically working but it's like throwing around my character like a ragdoll and uh, this is most likely why most likely make sure that the type also is correct so we're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight different <clears throat> different ones so we're gonna click this eight times one two three four five six seven eight so i'm gonna lose my voice right now and uh, by the way, the only reason it says uh, too much memory here is because we're one over. <clears throat> That's fine, because we're going to switch with, uh, these ones to, uh, to Boolean, which will lower the memory usage. Now you can see that it says no spoop on these ones, all of them. That's only because when you click add, it's going to duplicate whichever bottom one you have here. So it duplicated boop, no spoop. So we're just going to change this one to uh, go float. Now, when you do this as well, I'm going to speed through all of these, right? But when you do these, make sure that you're capital sensitive when you write them, okay? Like this is a big F and a big G <clears throat> in the beginning of this one. Make sure that you're capital sensitive. Oh, sorry, not cap capital sensitive, case sensitive to when you write. 
Now this one is a bull, I'm pretty sure. No, sorry, that's uh, actually one of the float ones. <laughs> My bad. Now we're going to add all of these, and then I'll be back when I've added them, okay? Okay, now we've added all of them, okay? And we're up to 222 in memory, so we're good, we're good on a couple more, okay? <clears throat> now also make sure when you add Google Loco, by the way, in the parameters here on the avatar, that you do not click the save side here. Because that means that it's going to be turned on by default every time that you reset your avatar, or that you, uh, yeah, you, when you reset your avatar, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it changes when you go in between worlds. That's what the save side here is for. So now that we've added this, all we have to do is add the menu, okay? That's all we have to do. We're going to go go local here. And let's just make this one a little bit smaller as well. Now I want to make sure we add the right menu. Now we added the... Uh, this one is the one we added. So we're going to add the go broke main menu. That's the one we want to add. We don't add the other ones. So let's go into uh, Free Puppy Girl here, or your avatar name, whatever is up here. We scroll down until we get to the expression layer here. We click on menu, double click. So it opens up here, and then we can add the menu here. We can add go, go, goosey mode. There you go. And then on type, we click on sub menu, which basically means that it's, uh, it's going to open another menu here. Now we click on the plus sign here, and then we search for go broke main menu. Oh, well, go broke menu here, this one. Oh, sorry, no, this one, main menu, there you go. Now we have the menu in here. Now all we have to do to test this out is you can go in game if you want to, if you want to make sure that it actually works in game, or you can use the gesture manager we added before, Click on it in the in the scene up here, and then click play. By the way, if you click play, uh, play before you click on it in the scene, you can just click on it in the scene again while you're in play mode. Now you're going to get thrown into the game tab here, click on scene up here. And now we can see the avatar as it would be in game essentially. And then here we have a go go goosey mode. We click on go go loco down here. Click fly. I've never used this one before, so, but so I don't fucking know. I guess we're flying here. Um, Let's see if we can find scale here. Uh, here we have scale, I think. Yeah, scale. Yep, scale is working, guys. By the way, this is something to keep in mind as well. Now this avatar has... Uh, uh, what's it called? This one has full body dissolve, right? Now when you add full body dissolve from bottom to top, that means that it's... Uh, it's gonna work from a distance, essentially. So you see how my legs are disappearing here? It's because the full body dissolve lowest point is set to there. So if you wanna fix that, all you have to do is remove the full body dissolve, either that, and then you don't have full body dissolve anymore, of course. Or you can just uh, go in. This is a little bit of a side note. We're basically done with the trolley, guys. Like if you, all this is all you needed, you can stop watching now. But if you wanna fix the full body dissolve part, then you. You need to click on the avatar here. Make sure that the FX layer for the avatar is up here in the con animator controller. Make sure it's there. Click on the avatar. Then click on the animation here. If you don't have this tab, I think you click uh, Control F6 to bring it up. Or you can just click up here in Window and then uh, Windows and Animation. Or, yeah, Animation. And it brings this one up. Now you see a little tab here. We're going to find the full body dissolve layer here. Uh, I don't remember where I put it, so I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, dude. I can't find it. There you go, dissolve toggle. There you go. So we have the dissolve toggle. Now, if it's uh, not locked in this animation, the actual point, then you don't need to go in here. All you have to do then is right click here, click Thry, Materials, Unlock All. <laughs> Now this part is a bit tedious, so uh, you can do this uh, on your own, but I'm just going to show you like the steps for it. It's essentially just whatever material that the full body dissolve is affecting, you want to find. So I think I have myself pretty organized, I think, materials here. Then on the materials, you want to find the ones that are actually affected by it. So 
I have it on my hair. I have it on the whole avatar essentially, but like, let's do the body so that you can see that it actually works. Where's the... Oh yeah, there you go. Click on the body. You click on the material here, you open it up. You scroll down until you get to uh, the special effects layer, open that one up, and then you see this solve here. Now this one is point to point, and that's why we're getting this little thing at the bottom here by the shoes. What you want to do then is you want to go all the way down here to uh, point to point, this tab. Then you want to make sure that the uh, the starting point on the y-axis, I think, yeah, the y-axis, is more than minus one. Now you can put this one to uh, minus five if you want, I guess. I'm just going to put mine to minus four, I think should be enough. But you see how like, the body disappears when I change that one. I just want to uh, put it to four. And uh, now it shouldn't actually do that anymore. So let's just uh, control S, make sure it's saved properly. Then let's click on the gesture manager again, click play. Then it's just gonna load in the material split, there you go. Okay, we're on scene now, Go. let's go to go go goosey mode. Then go to uh, go go by Fran. Let's go to the little experimental thing. And then scalable and try it out again. You see how the... Uh, now after I've done that, how the actual like shoes disappear because we didn't change the material on that one. And then we can make it even bigger. We can make it super big, there you go. And now you have a scalable avatar. And if the if you still see that stuff from the dissolve, then it might be in the actual animation or you just missed the material. But anyways, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out my avatar if you want. It's completely free on Gumroad, so you can have it for absolutely nothing. <laughs> Have a good day, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys another time. See you.